morning, good morning, welcome back. Okay, day 47 now on the build, and today, as promised, I wanna take this, with the aid of this, and this, and this, I wanna turn it into something that fits into this, and looks like it belongs there. So wish me luck, let's make a start. Okay, the first task is to take this remainder of the under tray out of the way completely because the wiring harness was all underneath it. So then lift it up, wrestle it all back through the frame, and all of that is really important stuff. As you can see there, in my left hand, those two big fat enormous plugs go in the ECU, and then a big fat bunch of it on the left hand side there going in between the frame. That's the start solenoid and all the battery wires, battery leads, rectifier lead, all of it has to go back into its proper factory place so I can then fit the under tray back in nice and neat and tidy so I can force bits of sharp sheet metal in under there without doing any damage. Right, let's make a template. Right, there we go, one template. That took me almost an hour to make, and as you can see, a right old patchwork quilt of different pieces of paper and tape, but that's the time to make mistakes. That's the time to think again, re-snip it, redo it, throw it away, start all over again, doesn't matter, doesn't cost anything. When you're absolutely happy with your template, drop it on the material and give yourself a generous line all around it so you don't cut it too small. And any other little things, like in this one, I've got a couple of slits, one either side, just so that I can slice it, curve it and turn it into the box shape it's got to be to go up underneath that frame. So there it is, all marked out, nice and safe. Now that's ready to cut. I've had a few questions in the comments recently as to why I don't use a disc normally to cut this metal and why I use aviation shears. Well, here's a demonstration for you. Check out the burrs on that. Razor sharp, absolutely lethal. Sometimes it's just easier to reach for the shears. Another little sheet metal trick for you if it helps. If you're going to cut a slit in something that's then going to be folded, drill a hole in the end of the slit and it'll stop it running further than you want.
maybe Right, and there we are. The basic shape is finally in place after four hours. That is fantastic fun. Loads to trim off and it's all over the place still, but at least it fits nice and snug. And now the fog has cleared, I can see the way forward and what I need to do next. So let's get on with it. Right, there we are, okay, can do no more. It's four o'clock now, seven hours at this today. And I have to stop at this point, sadly, because that was the last of those low temperature welding rods. Uh, the Durafix aluminium welding rods is their proper Sunday name, low melting point or whatever. Solder, braze, call them what you feel comfortable with. I've run out of them. Now I've ordered 10 more. Uh, this time I got them a bit cheaper. These ones, the last 10 I ordered, what, 38 quid for 10, I've just got 10 for 27 pounds, better deal, not going to China for the cheap ones, heard a few bad things, heard a few good things, but I'm gonna trust a local company where I can get a resource if I need them, so I've got some more on the way when they get here, I can carry on with this. Now obviously this is a right old mess at the minute, it's all about the internal, it's all about up underneath there because it is an under tray, what this looks like is irrelevant, all this will get trimmed off, all this 
little fan around the back. That's all getting trimmed off level with the tube and then it will get soldered up. Every little one of those slits will just get soldered up and then I'll put them on the English wheel and roll them so they're nice and flat and then I can put a couple of bolts internally and hold them in and I'll have a space up underneath there to mount a tail tidy with a light or whatever comes next. But for now, the under tray is begun. It's one of those things you don't know where it's going to go at the beginning. So you make the first step and then that leads you to the next one and so on. And that's where I am so far after seven hours today. Absolutely loving it. Now I must say also, for those of you who've mentioned what happened to servicing and repairs that I used to do so much on my channel, well, it hasn't gone anywhere. Winter time is the time for servicing. And as you can see at the time of posting this, it's December now. So I'm going to be doing five or six motorcycle services over the winter. I've got my Harley, Penny's Triumph, two friends Sportsters, uh, Friends Triumph and the Street Fighter's got to be done as well. So there's six motorcycles going to be serviced over the course of the next three months. So plenty of the old stuff still coming, along with other things to go with it. Some little minor running repairs. I've got a couple of fabricating things I need to make for upgrades for those bikes. So lots of interesting and unique stuff to come over the winter. Really looking forward to it. But that's it for today. Fabrication under trays, step one. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Ride safe. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you next time. Standing in the middle of the street with trembling hands Well, I'm sweating like a dog, waiting for the clock to strike twelve That's life of an hour